you, you, yeah, what's going on? What's you up, what's up, what's up? What's up? So I think I'm going to do what I usually do. So I'm just going to start off with primer. And I'm going to use this Smashbox primer. I'm then going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation with a Real Techniques sponge. I'm now going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I have the shade NC15. I think it could be a good shade for me right now. Oh! It's a bit too light for me, but I'm just going to go for a very Instagram kind of <laughs> contour and highlight, I guess. Maybe not contour, but highlight at least, so... I'm now just going to apply some loose translucent powder underneath my eyes and in my T-zone. Moving on to my eyes, I'm going to use the, the balm, put a lid on it. I don't know how I feel about this primer yet because, I don't know, I don't like it. It just feels like putting Vaseline on your eyes. So instead I'm going to put the Pro Longwear Concealer on my eyelids. I'm now just going to set that with this color, it's called I have no idea. White chocolate, maybe? From the Too Faced chocolate bar. I'm then gonna apply this shade right here into my crease. If I'm completely honest, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna do something and hopefully it's gonna turn out okay. I'm gonna apply my eyeshadow quite close to my nose as well. Um, but if your eyes are really close, then don't do this because that will just make them look even closer. So I'm now going to use this shade right here and I'm going to apply this into my crease as well. just gonna repeat the two steps on my lower lash line. I'm gonna start off with this shade and then continue with this one. And just don't forget to connect the two on the outer corner because that will make a huge difference. And just so you know, I have used the same brush for the whole look so far. This is the Sephora rounded crease brush and it's quite good. If you think that it's too big 
for your lower lash line you could just squeeze it together because that makes it a lot thinner obviously and easier to control I'm then gonna add a bit of this purple shade just to give the look a bit more dimension and life Then I'm going to apply a mix of these two, opa, a mix of these two on my eyelids. Before we do anything else, we just want to make sure that everything is super blended and nice. So I'm going to grab a clean brush and just blend everything. just gonna curl my lashes put some mascara on and then apply lashes and I'm gonna use the lashes exaggerate number 143 from Eyelore or Aylore I'm going to use the shade Moonstone on my inner corners as my inner corner highlight. I'm also going to use that on my brow bone. I'm not going to contour but I'm going to bronze up my skin a bit using the Bahama Mama bronzer by The Balm. I'm gonna apply a bit of the same highlight on my nose. And on my cheekbones as well. Maybe we should apply something on our lips. I'm going to apply this on my lips. This is NYX Lip Lingerie in Teddy. And I'm not going to use a lip liner because I just can't be bothered really. That's it. <laughs> So before we continue, I just have to say that the NYX Lip Lingerie in Lace Detail, that's the one that I'm wearing right now. It really worked a lot better on my lips this time. Um, I don't know if it was the lip balm that I used, because the first time I used the 8 hour cream by Elizabeth Arden. And this time I used a Aroma Balm by Makeup Store. So maybe like the lip balm and the liquid lipstick that you use can like clash a bit. 
I feel a lot better about this shade now than I did in my uh, lip swatch video. I really like it. I think it goes really well with this look as well. So this look is done. I think it's a beautiful autumn look if you are into all the browns and that. <laughs> but I'm not going to turn this into a Halloween look.